Hey everybody, Dice76 here coming at you with another video review. This one tied specifically to monsters um, and how to level them up and everything that goes into leveling them to give you the overall power. Um, as you can see right here, what goes into that number and how to get it to its maximum potential. Um, as well as some of the more basic things to know when leveling up your monster and when choosing monsters. Uh, a lot of you entering this game may not know some things. Some of you have may be playing it for a while, uh, might have had questions about certain things or not even noticed certain things about its personality, passive skills, attributes, whatever it is. Um, hopefully we'll be able to address most of that in this video. So starting off with the top left corner right here, you do have the lock icon. Um, that's just to make sure that you do not lock uh, or use your monster on accident fusing it with something else so any monster that you want to keep in the game I suggest locking it um, just to keep your mind at ease whenever you're fusing or doing stuff with other monsters going from there you have the fire and dragon on this particular monster the Charizard X uh, that's just telling you what types of it, uh, monster it is and what its skill sets are so when looking at that you can actually just go down to this screen right here clicking on whatever it is um, to kind of get the better idea of what its attack percentages are or what its uh, debuffs are when fighting other monsters based upon what element it is. So going back to the monster here, and again, that is on the house page right at the question mark. Going back to the monster here, so we have just both of those, then you have its level. Um, enough said, right? You can max that up by clicking on this icon down here and leveling it up. Uh, now this only goes up to your current level, so my character level is level 51. So all my monsters can level up to 51, but not past it, until my character level gets higher. And this is the main experience pool, um, that you'll get different cards and everything to fill it, as well as whenever you complete uh, adventure you know, maps. Some of that experience will go into this pool, so you can actually just click on another monster and start leveling it up without actually having to use it in battle. Um, so that's really, really nice with catching up your monsters that you may have not used before. From there, you have the name, uh, the plus. Now, the plus is based um, entirely on your fusion level right here, and that's used by either using fusion cards mostly or by fusing other monsters into it. Uh, you'll click on the monsters you want to fuse, and then you'll click fuse at the bottom over here. It'll cost a little bit of gold, um, but you'll be able to get the fuse up. Then you got your name change, which cost crystals, um, your the little heart over here, which is your friendship level, and then this icon, which just shares it with the server, uh, so other people can click on the name right here and be able to see your monster whenever they pull up the chat um, so that's kind of the basics for that moving on from the we go to the char back to the Charizard X so we've gone through all that in the top corner there uh, moving on to the gear uh, so gear is going to be very important on your monsters especially um, when you're leveling them up, seeing what the stats are. And you can see fuels for burning increases fire type, ground type, rock type, skill power by 12%. Um, so this monster's skills for me right now, I do have a lot of fire type attacks. Um, so I chose to use that at this time. Later I'm gonna change to something with dragon attacks. But right now that's doing well for me and uh, that's one of my higher level skilled gears it's at a plus four and how that works is it's all compounded so um, something that's at a level one like this you'll combine it with another level one gear then you'll need two level twos two, uh, two level threes two level fours and you'll keep combining them like that so obviously as you get higher and higher you'll need tons and tons and tons of level ones to eventually get them all to compound up to your higher gear um, as well, once you get to a high enough level, level 45, you'll be able to use your accessories. These are some other gears that go on to your monster. 
and we'll give it different bonuses. And those as well you can strengthen uh, by breaking down other accessories into each other as well as using compound materials that you'll get throughout the game. Back to the main screen right here. So we're kind of just doing a quick overview, give you a general idea of what everything is um, and what to expect in the game so you know where to recognize it and how to use it. So for the attributes, um, you do have your main screen right here. Um, the outer ring is the full potential of your monster if all the stats are maxed. Uh, this is a special attack monster, so it has a decent amount over there. Um, you can see what it is. So it's 609 is maxed right now. 388 is what I'm currently at. So we can take a look at it right here. So you can see where all my values are currently at. Um, you know, I'm a little over half for HP and attack value. Special attack being all of its skill scaling is at 106. And then my defense, special value, and speed value. Now, all of them are locked over here. As you go throughout them, um, so if you unlocked all of them, you could train it by clicking the button down here. It would cost me one of these stones, and it would reroll all of these numbers. Most likely, I would lose quite a bit of overall attribute. But there is opportunity whenever you re-roll to have a breakthrough, which one of your uh, skills will essentially, or attribute lines, will pretty much, I think it's past, get past 80%. And it'll unlock the opportunity to use your max cards and um, use the max card and then pay crystals to max out that skill. So that's how you get 100% in some of those categories. Um, the best way of going about that is to get a little more than 200 of the stones down here and then just keep doing ones until you get one breakthrough, max that out, lock it, um, and keep going. You might get two breakthroughs in one go. Um, and once you get down to about 50, lock up and then try to count to about 200, 200 plus again, and keep doing that until you're able to get, eventually, um, all of your wanted skill uh, attribute lines broken through using those max cards. Already talked a little bit about fusion and getting the fusion cards. You just click on it, and you can go straight to the Safari and um, raid those lines to get fusion cards to get your fusion monster higher. Talked a little bit about gear. We talked about accessory skills. Um, what's really important is to try, you know, we all are gonna level these first four. Um, getting your level high enough to uh, get the passive down here, which adds tons and tons of extra attack speed. Whatever it is for certain monsters is always very important. So try to get to that as soon as possible. And then your passive skills. Now your passive skills are going to be things like elemental powers, different things that just add percentages uh, to your monster. So again, with all of these, there is a lot of things to focus on on one monster to get your overall power up. Within this, you have three slots that are 100% likely to get your skill up. Um, as well, what's really important here is when you have a monster early on, it's really nice to use all crappy uh, level 1 skills for the most part to try to break into these grayed out cells that you see. Um, so as you unlock more of them, you know, it gets more uh, skill slots to use and then you can start replacing them with a lot better skills that won't get rewritten. Finally, you have your evolution, which different monsters will require different things to evolve. Um, if you ever need certain ones, just click on it, and it'll tell you where to go, and you can just click on that map um, and rate it for those items until you max them out. Pretty easy there. 
um, and it tells you all the requirements, friendship, as well as all the cards and evolve cards that you need to uh, max that out there. And you can evolve your monster all the way up the line. Lastly here we have the friendship level. Um, the friendship level again is just going to take different things depending upon the monster's overall level. Um, and you'll just go to those, raid them, get enough items, and just keep leveling that up. Uh, sometimes for bonding purposes uh, that's necessary. As you can see right here it says friendship level reached. Um, so with my Psyduck there I should get it. It's friendship level past 30 here soon just to get that extra special attack bonus for my Charizard X as well as my bond level of this monster um, and my Gyarados at at least overall level 50. And that's kind of how bonding works with your monster. Um, the last few things here is the personality listed right here. Every monster will have a different personality. Take note of that. Um, some are better for your monster. Mild works really, really well with this Charizard as his special attack um, is what he uses, and that's very important for him. All of his scale, uh, skills scale off of special attack, as we can see over here. Fire type special attack damage, fire type special attack, flying special attack, dragon type special attack, and then that's its passive, like I mentioned before. Um, so keep that in mind, the personality, a lot of people overlook that early into the game. And then your passive skill, you have these different options. The range changes for every monster, so take note of that. And as you get the different stones, you'll be able to use them um, to click on these and keep re-rolling, hopefully to get a better passive as you go on. Um, some, like this one, you know, I wanted the speed to max up uh, combined with um, its attribute. One sec here. It's passive skill of healing. So every time it attacks and it can keep attacking, I can keep getting more health there. So that's just a prolonged battler. Um, so for really quick here, I kind of summarized everything there really fast. Uh, now I'll show you by example for someone who just wants to solidify it in their mind. I got this Scyther here. Uh, his personality right off the bat I noticed is shy. Um, so it's neutral. It, it doesn't have any weakness or bonuses uh, based upon the personality. It's passive skill, super frequency, which says power of stealth type increases by... Um, 10% when the HP is over two thirds. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to look through these to see okay, what do we have with stealth type? No steel type there. No steel type there. No steel type. No steel type. Um, so, there I might think at first glance that with the passive skill I might you know want to change that for one of these um, but evolutions of monsters actually change uh, skills quite frequently so I'll want to go to the book do a little bit of research go down to Scyther Open up its skills um, and click on these. Bug type physical, bug type physical, steel type physical damage. So that passive would actually come into play once I get to this evolved form. And then finally, it'll keep it with this one for uh, that attack only. So going back to uh, my team here. At this point what I'll want to do is get its friendship. I use some of these lower level ones to get it to about 9. 
and then I'll use one of the higher ones at all roll as it will roll me over now of course its friendship cannot go over its level Level them up to 30 really quick. Add one of my bonded monsters. Now I'm going to want to max out some of his skills as we go on. I'll have to wait for more skills to refresh. No passives I want to add to him at this time. out of those now these are always needed so different things are needed to do the breakthroughs evolution I need some of these rare evolve cards so I'll go over here and we'll just raid this 10 times. And I got 12 of them from this raid. That's all that I needed. Evolve them. Oh, got to have a little bit more level. Now I'll be able to evolve them here. And the next evolution is going to be a mega evolution, so I would need mega stones that you get from the world boss, as well as a friendship level of 30. I could raise this fusion, just raise it to four for now. I won't use any monsters. Most of his attacks are bug type, so this will definitely come in handy. You can see it um, doesn't really use special attack. It uses normal attack skills. So just for uh, example, we'll re-roll. And I'll just keep with that for now. And as this all you know skills up, I'll keep skilling those until I can max all of those out. And I'll also try to get his friendship to level 30 so I can start leveling that but um, you know that's most of what goes into leveling a monster uh, eventually I'll also want to add accessories to them most of them require at least a level of 45 so I need four more levels on them but pretty basic once you get it all down uh, there's not much more to it than 